If you run a product-based business and you're wondering about shipping, then stay tuned. I'm gonna give you all of my tips and tricks on how to ship your products effectively and cheaper than you might think. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lee Marie and I teach you how to. In today's video, we're gonna go over shipping, which is super important if you run a product-based business. There's a lot that goes into shipping, including what company to use, what boxes to buy, um, what products you absolutely need, like a shipping scale and um, labels and packing materials. So we're gonna go over all of that today. I'm gonna let you know what I use and just give you some tips and tricks so that you can have a smooth shipping experience. The first thing that I think a lot of makers think of when they think of shipping is what company to use. My preferred company is UPS. The reason for that is I find FedEx too expensive and USPS also expensive. Um, so for me, UPS is the most cost effective. Now, I don't directly ship with these companies. What I do is I have an account at a website called pirateship.com. So that's pirate, like an actual pirate, ship.com. And what Pirate Ship does is they give you the different shipping prices for UPS and USPS, which is the United States Postal Service or the regular mail. Um, and so they give you both options and you just, you can sign up for free. That's what's really great about Pirate Ship is it doesn't cost anything. You sign up, you create an account, you put in your address, and you put in a payment method of how you're gonna pay for your shipping. After you've done that, all you need is the receiver's information. So their address, you also will need the specifications of your box, so the um, height, width, length of your box, and then you're also gonna need how much it weighs. Once you have that information, you um, click on the button that says get rates, and it gives you all of the rates for UPS and USPS, including the least expensive of all of them. And then it gives you options like overnight, two-day shipping, and three-day shipping. So you get to choose the one that you want to pay for, and generally it is much less expensive than going to UPS yourself and purchasing at the counter. I have noticed that um, the shipping prices are extremely fair um, and a lot less expensive than going to UPS or the Postal Service yourself. So this is a really great tool and tip is to use PirateShip.com. This is not sponsored by PirateShip. It is who I use and I think their service is amazing. So again, what you do, you go create an account, you fill out the specifications of your shipment. So the name of the person, the address, the um, specifications of the box. So if it is a six by six by six inch box, and how much it weighs, so let's say two pounds, you hit get rates and it'll give you the least expensive rates for UPS and for the postal service. Um, so that's really nice and then once you decide which one you wanna buy, you just click buy label and it gives you the option to download the label. You can either print it off of your computer or if you have a specialized four by six inch printer like I have, and I'll show it to you guys later, um, you can use that and just use, you know, just have it be a sticker on your box. So like I said, to me, UPS is the least expensive out of the bunch um, and they have the most options. I find that um, ground shipping is actually really great and very affordable and it doesn't take as long as you think. Um, it takes anywhere from two to five days depending on the destination um, and that is actually how I manage to offer free shipping on my products is ground shipping through UPS is actually very affordable. So definitely look into that if you are looking for a luxury line or if you want to give your customers the option of free shipping. Um, UPS through Pirate Ship is a very good and affordable option. Okay, so what are my most popular boxes that I use for shipping? Well, I have two different sizes that are the most popular. The first size shipping box that I use is a six by six by six inch box. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Pirate Ship is that the smallest box that they will let you ship with is a six by six inch box. If you input four by four by four inches or something small like that, it will not work. So six by six by six inches is the smallest. This is perfect if somebody orders one product. So if they order one candle or one room spray, one tray, one diffuser, whatever it may be, if they go online and only make one purchase of one item, this would be the box that I would use. It's a nice tall box and it fits a lot of different single items. So this is a box I use all the time. The second most popular box that I use 
is 10 by seven by four. This is an awesome box because if anybody orders more than two items, up to six items, I can fit in this box. It is awesome. So when I have customers that purchase multiple items, generally they will fit in this box perfectly. Another great thing about this size box is this is actually the box that I use to make my case packs for when I do wholesale. So I get kind of like double use for them. I use them for my case packs and then I also use them for um, orders from customers with multiple items. It is a great size box, it's not too big. And again, since you're doing cubic shipping and what that is is that you're doing shipping based on the dimensions of your box, um, it is a really good idea to keep a box this size. It is small enough that through cubic shipping, it's not gonna cost you a lot of money, um, but it can hold quite a few items. So 10 by seven by four is by far my most popular box. Another great size box, if you're also doing wholesale like I am, is 12 by 12 by 14. That is an awesome size box because again, like I said, I use these for my case packs, a 12 by 12 by 14 inch box fits four of these. So if somebody, you know, a, a store, a boutique orders four case packs of um, a particular candle, I can put them right in these and I can put these in a 12 by 12 by 14 inch box and ship those off. And again, not very expensive. I think the most I've had to pay for a 12 by 12 by 14 inch box and it was at 21 pounds was like 14 or $15. So really it's not that expensive when you're using pirate ship and cubic shipping. So this is kind of my shipping area at my shop. Um, so I have some product boxes up top and then I have my printer with my four by six labels. And I will have links to all of these products down below if you wanna check them out. And then I have my shipping scale and then I have a few different kinds of um, packing supplies that I will go over for what kinds of things I use to pack my orders. And then I have this fun little cart that I will go over as well. So this is my printer and it prints four by six inch labels. And what's really cool about it is that it is Bluetooth, which means that I could do it from my computer or I could do it straight from my cell phone. And I just connect via Bluetooth and I you know, choose the file of whatever the label is I'm trying to print. And I connect via Bluetooth, I hit the print button and it prints out right here. It's really, really awesome. In case you're wondering, this is what the four by six inch label looks like. Um, this is just a sticker and you can get um, like 500 of these that come connected like these are um, and they're pretty inexpensive. And then you just put them in this little holder that it comes with and then you hit print and it automatically feeds on through. Um, and like I said, most of my products, I got them on Amazon. Um, when it comes to the shipping, uh, scales and things like that. Amazon really has some good deals for um, products uh, for shipping. So this is my shipping scale. And what I really like about this shipping scale is that um, one, it was inexpensive, which is awesome. Two, I believe the threshold is 40 or 50 pounds, which is quite a lot. And then three, I love that it has this like hold function so if for any reason you can't see the number, like say your box is just like this and it's blocking it, you can hit the button underneath that says hold and see it holds the amount so you can see it later. You can take the box off, but the amount of how much it weighed is still on there. So that's really cool about this. I like this scale a lot. It was pretty inexpensive. I think it was like $30 at most. Um, so this is a really great shipping um, scale that I've used. As far as packing materials, um, I think by now, um, hopefully you know that my business that I run is very sustainable and I try to reduce my carbon footprint as much as possible. Therefore, all of my packing materials, I actually do not purchase. This is all um, packing materials that I save from boxes that I receive from my suppliers. So um, a lot of my suppliers use this kind of paper um, material and what I do is I keep it in this cute little hamper. So I keep it in there and then I just slide that through. And this is mo mainly the packing material that I use for um, wholesale. So when I have those case packs and things like that and I want them to be secure, I use this ma packing material, this paper. 
Um, and then this is packing peanuts. These are biodegradable packing peanuts. And again, I have not purchased these. I save these from all the boxes of the manufacturers that I buy my fragrances from, my vessels, whatever comes in the mail, I save the packing material and I reuse it. Not only does it save me money, but like I said, it saves my carbon footprint as well because I'm not out buying more additional product. I am repurposing this product. So I love that. Biodegradable packing peanuts is a great, great option. And then this kind of recycled craft paper, another great option for shipping materials for your packages. Okay, let's talk about this cart. This cart is super adorable, I love it. Um, this cart is basically, I can wheel it around and it has my packing kind of materials and stuff on it. So I like to use this craft tape. I got it on Amazon and it's awesome. It sticks so well and I'm not using plastic, so I love that. Um, you have to have box cutters. Everybody has box cutters. These again are from Amazon, so that's where I keep these. And of course, you have to have your fragile stickers um, to make sure that UPS or USPFs um, handle with care. Um, I also have some candle care cards in here that I put into the packages. Um, sometimes I'll need regular tape for something, but this I really love because like I said, I can wheel it around it goes with me so if i happen to be packaging a huge order on my stainless steel tables instead of this area then i can simply wheel this over and do my packaging that way and that is really really nice so this little cart um, i believe is from the container store um, when i had my uh, studio organized professionally a lot of the items that the ladies bought are from the container studio i believe that this little hamper that slides out is also from the container studio. Or I'm sorry, the container store, not studio. The container store. Um, so that's where I got a lot of these um, items from. All of these bins, I have tons of these bins. Um, these are from Target. These are like three or four dollars a piece and they have a clear top, which is really nice. And they are stackable and um, I love these a lot. So um, this is a great option for putting like your packing peanuts or again your packing paper just to have your shipping area a little bit more organized. Now there is one packaging item that I do purchase. Um, it is still, you know, sustainable. It is recycled. It's this craft kind of crinkle paper. And this is actually really inexpensive. This giant box was filled to the brim. And this whole box costs like $25. And this fills quite a few boxes. I mainly have these for when I do gift baskets for the holidays. Um, this is a really nice option for packing. Um, and then sometimes I use them for, um, you know, just smaller purchases, smaller boxes that I'm gonna ship out. Um, so this is a really nice option as well. However, you go through a lot of it. I wouldn't suggest using this as your sole shipping material. Uh, it can get really expensive because you're gonna be buying a lot of these boxes. But if you have gift baskets or something like that, this crinkle paper is awesome for packaging materials. And again, this giant box um, was I think like 20 or $25. So not too expensive, not gonna break the bank, really nice kind of, you know, just recycling again material, um, but definitely more towards your gift baskets and smaller boxes rather than, you wouldn't wanna use this to fill a huge box. Um, you'd wanna use the packing peanuts or you'd wanna use um, some of that packing paper that I talked about earlier. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and that you have found this content helpful for you in your business. That's the goal of this channel is to help entrepreneurs as much as possible and basically to help anybody just learn how to do certain things. So when it comes to shipping, hopefully I have shed some light and offered you some tips and tricks to save you money and have you running your business more effectively and efficiently. If you like this video, please do hit the like button as it definitely helps our channel and also please subscribe. Um, that also helps our channel to grow. We're trying to grow the channel so that we can bring you more amazing content just like this. So as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.